There are people who spend their time working hands-on in the fight against malaria. You can find them in research labs and healthcare facilities. You can also find them in schools. In order to protect Tanzanian families and communities from malaria, school children and healthcare workers have become primary drivers for insecticide-treated nets for malaria prevention efforts. The National Malaria Control Program is implementing its third malaria strategic plan. The vision of our plan is to make sure that we eliminate malaria in Tanzania. That means having a society free from malaria. As part of his strategy to control malaria and its effects in Tanzania, health service delivery centers and schools are used as channels to maintain widespread availability of long-lasting insecticide-treated nets to households. These efforts are supported by the U.S. President's Malaria Initiative and other partners. My name is Waziri Nyoni and I am the Chief of Party for the Vectorworks project in Tanzania. Um, and we operationalize continuous distribution. And um, it's through three main channels, which is um, distribution of nets through schools, distribution of nets through health facilities to pregnant women and children under one year age, and then distribution of nets through private sector, where people get more options to choose what types of nets and what types of netting material they want. So through these three channels, we've been able to assist the government of Tanzania to maintain long, um, lasting insecticide treated nets coverage levels. Malaria claims the life of a child every two minutes. Use of insecticide treated nets has been shown to reduce malaria incident rates by 50% and to reduce malaria mortality rates by 55% in children under the age of five. Every year, in order to assess um, how many nets we need to distribute, we do what we call net calc analysis. So it's a mathematical tool which allows us to estimate how many nets do we need to get out every year. So for example, last year, uh, through schools alone, we've been able to distribute over 3 million nets, and then through health facilities, about 500,000 nets has been distributed uh, to pregnant women and children under one year old. So what does this get us in terms of achievement and results? It gets us um, the annual numbers that we've been able to push out to maintain coverage levels and without risking uh, the vulnerable groups in, uh, in getting malaria. By sharing knowledge and practices with friends, family members and patients, both healthcare workers and school children enable better health for the whole community. Wajeni tu asia, nasoma dasa tatu, shule ya msingi buigi. Kiti nacho kipenda shule ni, napenda masomo, napenda alimu, napenda afiki zangu, napenda mazingira ya shule. Ndote angu mini nataka kuwa mandisho wa bali. Ili nifanyikue kuwa mandisho wa bali, nabidi nisome kwa bidi. Ili ugonjwa malele umekua nitalizo kubwa sana, umekumbwa watu wengi kama wazazi wangu. Nda mungine na kusa kunda shule na deki na fagia na udemia za zizu wangu. Ila siwa hao tu wapo wengine kama nafiki zangu, wanafunzi na watu wengine katika jamii. Wikili wapita nipapata neti, nilikuenda nyumbani na zizu wangu kanipokea neti kwa fula na kuyanza kuitundika. Tangu tumegawea vandalua hapa shuleni, na kikisha kuwa mimi na zizu wangu na dogo zangu tunalala kwenye chandalua ili kujulinda na ugonjwa wa malelia. Tanzania has become one of the first countries in the world to adopt a continuous distribution model to the supply of insecticide-treated nets instead of relying on periodic distribution. The U.S. President's Malaria Initiative supports the procurement and distribution of insecticide-treated nets as well as technical assistance and capacity building for the government of Tanzania to manage these programs. Technology is being used to track stock movement using a real-time mobile and a web-based delivery system. At Saint Logistics, we've tried to reach every corner of Tanzania. The places are very remote, but since the motive is to reach all the people, we've come up with the technology to make sure that every end mile center gets the net. We have two tracking systems. The first system, we track our trucks from the warehouse to the district. Then once the consignment has been delivered to the school or to the health center, we have a mobile application system that our delivery officer uploads the documents into the system, then everybody can see the data online. To us, Simba Logistics, it's not just another business, it's something we are giving back to the community. And we feel 
very happy about it. Nearly 407,000 people across Africa die due to malaria each year. Malaria can cause complications such as maternal anemia and low birth weight. Nimemleta mwanangu leo ili apate chanjo. Muuguzi amenishauri juu ya matumizi ya chandarua ili kumlinda mwanangu na ugonjwa hatari wa malaria. Ni wajibu wangu mimi kama mama. Ninahakikisha ninamlinda mtoto wangu. Na si kwamba tu ni mtoto mtakaye mkinga. Bali na mimi nitakuwa nimejikinga na, na ugonjwa huo wa malaria. Infants who sleep under insecticide treated nets significantly reduce their chance of exposure to malaria. The US President's Malaria Initiative funded Vectorworks project has supported the government of Tanzania in distributing more than 4.5 million insecticide treated nets across the country and they will continue to work with the Tanzanian government to fight malaria. The US President's Malaria Initiative is also actively supporting various interventions in its effort to fight malaria. These include indoor residual spraying, entomological monitoring, case management, social behavior change communication, supervision and monitoring, and evaluation. A kipindi nipo mdogo, nikuwa siku moja nilipo ugua, nikuwa nipeleko hospitalini, nikakuta watu walivyo wengi wanaangaika, Kwa hiyo sasa kwa naangaika vile na mimi nikapata moyo kwamba siku moja nisome nije kuwa muuguzi nikajitahidi katika masomo yangu kusoma ili mwisho wa siku nikaja na mimi kuwa muuguzi ili niweze kuwasaidia tangia nimefika hapa nimekuta watu wengi wakiwa wanaugua sana malaria na malaria ni ugonjwa ambao ni hatari umewaathiri ume sana wa mama wajawazito pamoja na watoto na pia kuna watoto baadhi nishakuta mtoto mmoja alifariki kwa ajili ya malaria tukafanya utaratibu tukapata hizo neti tangia tumepata hizi neti na kuwashauri ugonjwa unaanza kupungua taratibu. Mara nyingi huwa na washauri wateja wangu jinsi ya kujikinga na ugonjwa huu wa malaria. Tatu pia na washauri zaidi kutumia neti kwa sababu neti ni njia mojawapo nzuri ya kuzuia mbu wasiweze kuingia na kuweza kumuuma mteja wangu. Pia na neti mi mwenyewe nyumbani ninatumia. Kwa hiyo na washauri sana wateja wangu watumie neti. The threat of malaria remains, but through these continuous efforts, strong partnerships and innovative ideas, the future of malaria control in Tanzania is looking brighter than ever. <laughs>